You know, it's an interesting factor that of all of the collectibles in the whole world, automobiles of classic and antique style are the largest collectible item in the whole world. I'm Larry Claremont, and I'm the creator and uh, uh, instigator of putting together uh, what we call the Claremont Collection. I got this idea a couple of years ago. I have always been an avid uh, collector and admirer of classic and antique cars. We currently have about uh, 150 cars on display uh, in this facility on two stories. We have a very eclectic collection of cars old, new, and all the way from 19, probably 1903 to uh, cars in the mid 2000s. One of the things that inspired me to put this collection together is I really wanted to do something interesting for Chicago. Chicago has never had a classic and antique car exhibit for some reason or other, they never have. And we now do, and it's called the Claremont Collection. Probably my first real collectible was a 1951 Rolls-Royce convertible. That particular car had a park ward body, and they only made, at that time, uh, they had only made two of that particular model. They made a few of the same models in Bentley, but not in Rolls-Royce. And I, uh, I, I had that car, it was like driving a truck with no power steering. Uh, the car would uh, not go over 70 miles an hour, but it was a beautiful car. And uh, what the, the trouble is, at later times, I could no longer drive the car and park it because people would be climbing all over it. So I elected to sell the car. I paid $9,000 for the car in 1949 and sold the car for $125,000. Now that stirred my real interest in buying collectible cars. In this collection, what I have tried to do is assemble a total variety of all types of cars, both foreign and domestic. And uh, many of the cars that we have in this collection are one-onlys. We have a number of unique vehicles here in the collection. Uh, one of them is a 1964 Amphicar. Uh, this is a vehicle that you could drive right into the water and drive right out and had very boat-like qualities uh, in the water. Other vehicles that you'll find in this very diverse collection uh, include a 1916 Detroit Electric. And adjacent to that, we have a 2000 9 Tesla, which is also an all-electric vehicle. And it's amazing to look at the two vehicles as it stood back in 1916 and today, and the technology behind them, which is all battery powered. And surprisingly enough, both cars are fantastic on the road still today. Another unique vehicle in the collection actually has some celebrity history to it, and that is a 1959 Rolls-Royce P3 limousine, which was owned by R. Kelly. Another celebrity vehicle in the collection is a 1938 Cadillac that was owned by Mae West, the famous actress from Hollywood. Another celebrity vehicle in the collection is a Zimmer that was owned by Shaquille O'Neal. And in the display, we also have his original playing jersey and a signed basketball. Now, to make some diversity in the collection, uh, we've added a few items that are not normally automobile related. For example, we have a miniature railroad here. The Miniature Railroad is a very, very unique piece. It takes the railroads all the way from uh, the East Coast to the West Coast. We also have a, an electric chair here that came from Sing Sing Prison. We understand that there was over 600 people executed in that chair. So we have a motto here that do not touch the cars. Please do not touch the cars. And if we see anybody touching cars, they get to sit in the electric chair. So that really stirs people up. We have a tremendous replica of a gas station from Cucamonga, California, that we've set in uh, the period correct 1932 setting. And the station is full of wonderful history, which we've documented and present to the visitors that come to this facility. Anyhow, that, uh, that pretty much uh, uh, tells you that we have 
uh, a Motley collectioner, we have Vespa motorcycles, we have Harley Davidson motorcycles. So to add interest to the collection here, we not only have automobiles, but we have other items that are of general interest. One of the things that I had in mind when I opened this exhibit is I want to attempt to raise money for charity. And what we have done is we have uh, allowed them to come in at no charge and they charge their members a fee to come in. We, don't, we do not collect any money from them and we allow them to come into the, uh, into the museum and we are going to continue doing that. We have a tremendous amount of interest from charitable groups that are interested in pursuing this collection. We are inviting all the car clubs in the city of Chicago to come on Saturdays and park their vehicles in our lot. We can probably accommodate about 300 vehicles and they can put for sale signs on, they can talk about the, the various problems, the engines, the mechanicals, where to get parts for these vehicles. And we are encouraging the car clubs to assemble here every Saturday morning. The collection will be open from 10 a.m. till two in the afternoon. The Claremont Collection welcomes any uh, nonprofit, charity, or foundation to come to our facility and use it as a backdrop to raise money for uh, their good causes. And this is a one-time unique experience uh, that will benefit uh, the charity greatly.